Hello, welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Sabado. Special K. And tonight we are doing uh, number one silver tequila or tequila blanco. If you don't know what number one tequila is, it's Ron White's tequila. He's a comedian. Uh, I was I bought this because I was listening to Joe Rogan and he was on there and they were just drinking his tequila. Were they talking about UFOs and crazy I, stuff too? Ron White was drunk and high, so yeah, you know. I appreciate him for that. <laughs> He's like, let's get crossfaded on Joe Rogan. <laughs> So, um, apparently this is good tequila. It's expensive. Like, this this bottle is $44. But the aged one is The like aged ones can go up to over $100 a bottle. Yeah. This is a fresh one. Uh, uh, we got some real cork going on. Yeah, so we'll see. The name is glorious. Number one. Got that mushroom cork going on. Hey, where my boy toad at? Uh, Don't say anything. I'm again, myself. I like, I prefer silver tequila over aged tequila. Now we are gonna get into the aged stuff later on. We're starting out, yeah, we started out uh, doing all the uh, unaged or straight tequilas first. That way we get a feel for the base of those tequilas and then we can determine if we if the other ones are, the aged ones are worth it. Because sometimes the aged ones are sometimes two and three the price of the uh, regular. Um, it smells like tequila, but it has a weird, like plastic ears. Something, something this is 80 sense. proof uh, for you guys out yeah. there. And it also smells kind of warm for 80 proof. It does smell a little warm. Lots of agave and it does have a slightly off-putting smell in there. Uh, yeah. it's, it's subtle and it's on the back end. Yeah. I think a normal person wouldn't catch that unless you're looking for it. Yeah. We're just, you know, professionals. Sure. Uh, color is clear. Let's take a taste. Room temperature, by the way. Uh, Actually pretty smooth. It is surprisingly smooth. Yeah. Um, It's a little bit... Um, now, is this 100% agave? I think so, yeah. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anywhere. It does not say. No clue. Hey, it has some uh, some cocktail recipes. Juan Cosmo. Did you spell on their website? Oh, yeah. It's armyofjuan.com. Oh, dot, dot rocks. Army one dot rocks. Yeah. Interesting. Um, it it's a little bit peppery, but not really peppery. You get that sort of weird agave roasted yeah. agave flavor, but it's not super prominent. It's not so strong. And it's not that super it's, sweet either. It's not so sweet. strong that it's ashy like we had with the Espolion. Yeah, it's so was strong super that ashy. ashy. Yeah. Um, it's subtle. But it is pretty smooth. That being said, is it better than other tequilas in its price range? We're talking Cabo Wabo, we're talking Don Julio, we're talking Patron. Mm, I would get Patron over this and I would get Cabo over this. Uh, I would get all three of those over this right now. I have. I don't know if I've ever had Don Julio, so. Um, but that being said, if this was the $35 price range, yeah, I would get it. This would be yeah. good, like their day. Because think, the competition is so steep in this specific the kilo's price range, I just don't think it's yeah. It's gonna make it yeah. in that price range. Plus, um, I mean, they're all such established brands too. I mean, Patron is like the go-to tequila, so. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, it's it's a good tequila, like this is. No, yeah. Uh, this is like uh, seven and a half, taking off half point price. It's seven and a half all day long. Yeah. I mean, great. this would be a great margarita maker or um, something like shots simple, shots or shots of this, yeah, yeah, it would be easy. Um, seven and a half, solid. Uh, just yeah. there's too much too many in the market to competition. Yeah, so that's just, the main issue. Yeah. Um, that being said, said though, if you uh, find it on sale or something, yeah, if you get it, it for thirty five dollars cheaper, it's worth it. Yeah, uh, we are mixing it with uh, lemonade, organic, specifically Kirkland Signature. Organic, yeah. Um, did you give it a number? Uh, I was gonna agree with your seven and a half. Yeah. So uh, tequila mixes best with bet death. I'm, I'm going my anything citrus. Uh, yeah, going my Mike Tyson there for a second. <laughs> Are you gonna start raising pigeons on your roof? Yeah. Um, it's a. Uh, you ooh, can still smell the tequila. <laughs> There's no lemonade there. No, it's just straight tequila, but sweeter. Like, all right. I'm concerned. Um, that's very tequila forward. Yeah. Maybe we got the ratio wrong. And you took all the rest of the lemonade. <laughs> that needs a bigger. Let's try it again. 
All right. Um, better. That's good. Yeah. That over ice mm -hmm. would be good. That'd be an easy drink. Um, this is the poor man's margarita right here. It really is because you get all those margarita flavors with stuff you don't have triple sec in it. Yeah. Um, but you get that. The agave lemon works well together. Um, mm -hmm. And the sweetness cuts down on the, the alcohol. Yeah, the, 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 the roasted or the ashiness of the agave is still light. That shines through with a little bit of agave with a tiny bit of peppery. But the lemonade sweetens it up and makes it easy and more palatable. And more uh, refreshing. I'm going to go with an 8 as a mixer. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with... I might go with an eight and a half as a mixer. Honestly, like, yeah, this might be, if I can find this for a better price than normal price, this might be my go-to uh, margarita tequila. For so me. we are going to put all the tequilas um, that we have right now that are in the, between the 40 to $50 range. It's gonna be a super head-to-head? -head? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a thousand dollar head-to-head. Nice. That's Cause right now we have, uh, well, Pure Vita is about $40. We have that up there, but that was sent to the show. We have Don Julio, we have Cabo Wabo, we have Patron. Um, and then there's one Cabo or two. Cabo Wabo, uh, Escalon is like 30 bucks a bottle. it's not there, it's it. 20, I paid 19.97 for that. Yeah, but you got your ways. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll probably get one or two more bottles. Uh, number one's a pretty big one. There's a few other ones out there. A lot of people know this brand, so we're trying to do big, big brand. What is this picture like? On the neck. But who is this man? I don't know. It's not Ron White. Right. It's not the other guy. It's Ron White and some other dude. It's Alex. Alex. It doesn't say. It says Alex. It doesn't have his last name. He's the Latin king of comedy. Apparently. Yeah. Um. It's good. It's just it's hard. It's hard it's with the competition, competition out there. Yeah. I mean, if you like Ron White and you want to support his tequila, yeah, sure. Um. If you want to try something different, or you're in the market for something different, if you had tons of... And you're looking at that price range? And if you like, had done, tons of Don Julio, and tons of Cabo, and tons of Patron, and you want something in that price range, get it. Um, now, that's not to say that the age versions aren't better. We'll get to those at yeah, some point. we'll find out. Um, but like I said, they have the age, and they have the extra age, and they can go up towards $100. So. Right. Uh, but that has been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Domingo. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, it is 100% agave. It literally says right here on the goddamn label. Fuck.